What is up? My name is Colby Sharp. I am a fifth grade teacher in Michigan. Welcome to my channel where we help kids fall madly in love with reading. And one way that we do that is through books that they will love. And I think that this is one. I think that kids are going to love this book. It is a story of two characters, a boy named Alder and a girl named Oak. Alder has lived with his mom for his entire life. His father was a musician, a pretty decently successful musician that had passed away when Alder was very young. And Oak's mother gets a new job and they move from San Francisco down to, I don't know, I think it's like Los Angeles. I don't really know California geography very well. Need to get better on that. Uh, her father is eventually going to move down, but right now it is uh, these two children living with their moms. They live next door to each other. One of the very first things that Oak's family does when they buy this house is cut down the tree that divides the two houses. Uh, Alder's mom isn't really happy about that, but they want to do an addition and build on up top. Anyways, um, Alder is going back to school in the fall and Oak is joining a new school in the fall. Alder is struggling with friends. His best friend has kind of taken up some new interest over the summer. Oak moves into this new school and she actually just starts making friends pretty well. And through a project, they actually don't talk to each other. Uh, even though they live next door. But through a school project, they have to work together. And in this most amazing way, they become friends. And there's, they each end up, this is before they become friends, adopting a cat. And like, that's such an interesting part of the story. There's all of, there's this like magic going on with like a stuffed possum, right? Just read the book, trust me. Um, but what I love is I love the development of this friendship. I love these two characters who at first glance seem to have nothing in common and seem like they would never fit, um, become this just amazing relationship and this amazing friendship. And then you discover these crazy things at the end of the story. And then it's just like your mind is blown and you can kind of see some things coming. Uh, there's some little hints dropped. It's just really good. It felt timeless. It felt like a book that kids are going to read for generations. Um, and when I say timeless, I just it just felt like middle grade, right? It just felt like you were meeting these amazing characters and these characters that, that kids are always going to love. And when I say timeless, a lot of times I think about like books that were written a long time ago that kids still read today. And I don't often think that uh, the first time reading a, a book that's just coming out and that's set in the present time, but this book just felt special. The characters are special. The story is wonderful. There's a lot of things that I think kids are going to love in this book. I think it'll make a great read aloud. I think teachers are going to love this one. It's just, it's just a wonderful story. And now more than ever, I feel like we need wonderful stories in the world. So I'm thankful for the house that wasn't there another wonderful story to add to our collections, to our libraries, to our classroom libraries, and to our school libraries. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll put some videos up here. And if you want to watch something else, maybe find another book for your kids, that would be the place to do it. My name is Colby Sharp. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have an awesome, fantastic.